Hi, I'm with Hakabare here yes. in the Lawrence Ford Farms. Yes. Where we are shooting a film, and I'm the head of the recycling department, making okay. sure the environment is clean Great. and everything is catered for. Okay. Thank Everyone needs an ecosystem that is maybe balanced. Yes. That's why we are called yes. Eco Ninjas. We are here to make sure everyone is safe, healthy, and sound. Yes. <laughs> also, to make this place because the more it's kept clean mm -hmm. and also uh, the production company is, mm. is, is recommended, is respected and is appreciated exactly. for by the owners because yeah. for them, we came here, there's no, nothing hanging around. Yeah. So you can't walk back exactly. and leaving they, things they, they, hanging yeah, around. Yeah. Otherwise, then you can never come back sure. because yeah. it's a plantation place mm -hmm. and they would want nothing contaminating the plants from uh from the outside people well, if it's uh, whatever they how they plant mm. it if there is chemical i don't know we cannot mm. see it we have not yeah. seen it uh, but we have to you know keep the balance mm. so that nature yeah. you know today everyone is fighting the eco world, ecosystem this mm -hmm. and this but at the same time it's the you know those big corporations that are exactly. polluting yeah, the, polluting the environment, the environment. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah. Ah. No, yes, I go by a habare. Ha habare. Oh, okay. Habare is if you read it normal, you say uh, uh, you will read it ha gabare, ah, but gabare. it's not gabare. Okay. The way you pronounce it, oh. because it's no, it's hab. <laughs> it's ancient Hebrew. Is it? Yes. Okay. And it means the Hebrew. Okay. The word habare eh. means the. Hebrew. Wow, that's my first time. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say hahabare, yeah. it means the Hebrew. Okay. Yes, that yeah. is about. A, yeah, because yeah. I mean, uh, the word Hebrew Hebrew comes yeah. from Hebraeus, okay. which is Greek. Greek, yeah, exactly. And the yeah. Greek yeah. couldn't pronounce. Uh, not couldn't pronounce, the, but they couldn't write Habare oh, in oh. Greek oh, when they found things, you know, names, uh -huh. they, names that had no sound in, in Greek, they couldn't do that. So they wrote what was near or what they thought they oh. would give to somebody. It's like said Nelson Mandela story. Yeah, you uh, see how, uh, how he became exactly. Nelson Mandela. Exactly. He was yeah. not Nelson. No, he wasn't. You know, yeah. but the pro the teacher couldn't pronounce his name, mm -hmm. so he just say, "Ah, you are a Nelson." Okay. So that's a bit of uh, habare. It's uh, I mean, if I if I, haba, it's 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 like a, in a modern Hebrew, it's ayin. Okay. If you've ever seen it's the letter ayin, it's like mm -hmm. an I, mm -hmm. and you have a ba, uh -huh. uh, yeah, and a ra. Okay. And uh, yeah, at the end, which is then habare, uh, yeah. So then the Greek then made it uh, Hebraeus. Okay. Then they, you know, later it become Hebrew. Okay. The same as the name uh, Isaac. Isaac. His name is not Isaac. Okay. His name is Yaotakak. Sakak comes from the law, the uh, the, the verb to laugh, because Sarah laughed okay. when. She, they, she was promised a child, a child yeah. so when the child was born mm. then uh the angel uh, abram gave the child the name yao takak okay. yao yes, laughs okay. you see the, yeah it's the same as jacob mm. jacob is the real name is yao hakab oh. not jacob wow. and yao hakab become lere Ya o Sharal, not Israel. Mm -hmm. Ya o Sharal means Ya o Prince. It means Prince with the God Ya o. Mm -hmm. That's the name. The, all those mean, names have massive meanings. Yeah. But once they become Greek or English, mm -hmm. they lost the meanings. Mm -hmm. So even when you're using it, you're not valuing the name because it doesn't have the same feel as mm -hmm. if. You know, like, I mean, even if in a native African, like, I mean, some African language, mm. a name will mean something. Because that is a bit of where the tradition comes from, back from uh, Hebrew. Okay. 
when the, the name is given it has it had a meaning and you know there's like because if you go back in history the ancestors when they the roman destroyed jerusalem mm -hmm. they flew flew or uh rain or not fly flew because flew is to fly the past of but they they ran this side of Roche, which is now called africa it was never africa mm -hmm. this side was never called africa by whom mm -hmm. the the greek the, the scriptures talks about Roche, kush okay kush yes that, that. It says Kush, but Kush is because it's that's not even Kush is Canaanite. In Hebrew, it's Hosh. There's no U in in Chabaret. In ancient Hebrew, you don't have the sound U. You have the sound O. A, uh, I. Those are the sound that you have and the silent sound. Yeah. So you don't have. It's not Kush, but Hosh. So when they flew the side of Roche. Then the nomadic life, they start mixing around and everything. And they lost also the language. <laughs> yes. That's a bit of where we should be going back. But again, people are, oh, no, 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 you know. I can't step in these bushes. I'm no. Reptiles, no friend. I'm no friend of the reptiles. I don't, I'm not saying that there is, but I mean, unless I don't have the proper boots, the proper shoes, so I can't.